Good evening everyone, my name is George. This is uh, another photo and video tutorial with Premiere Pro. I made a few in the past, uh, quite a long time ago, but they were proven really popular. Um, so I decided to kind of try and make some more. Um, some of you may know exactly what I'm talking about, some of you may not, and I really hope this helps you. Uh, I wanna try and be quick and cut to the chase, so let's get straight on it. Um, you may have some slightly shaky footage on your camera, uh, which you really wanna uh, fix. Um, now you may not have any special kind of stabilization rig or anything like that, which is absolutely fine. Um, this is what this tutorial is for. Uh, with Premiere Pro, there's something called Warp Stabilizer. Um, now I'm going to be honest, it comes with it whether you buy it, um, whether you, you pirate it, whatever you do to get the software, it will come with it. It's a plugin which they make. Um, and it's designed to take your... Um, not ridiculously shaky, but your slightly wobbly footage, um, or if you're walking with a camera, that kind of wobble, um, and turn it into something really smooth. Um, now, a little trick to, to make this work very well, um, when I'm holding my camera, I have the neck strap around my neck, and I pull the camera uh, away from me. Um, so the neck strap is really tight, if that makes sense. So the camera is still in front of me, but I'm really holding it forward, um, so the neck strap is tight, um, so when I'm walking, it just makes it slightly slightly smoother. Um, so I'll show you here um, what it looks like before warp stabilizer. So as you can see, I'm 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 you can see the walking in it. You can see that I'm walking. Um, you can it looks okay for a club video. You can still get away with it because that's kind of the vibe that clubs have. It's kind of that shaky kind of footage, um, but I kind of like the cinematic aspect to it. So you can see there again, I played again, you can see me walking. Now what you want to do is you want to go to effects um, on Premiere Pro. Uh, you just want to type in warp stabilizer or just warp, it will come up. Um, all you have to, go to do is drag and drop on top of the clip and it will say analyzing in background step one of two. Um, and you can see here it's analyzing. So for this, we, need, we can forget about all of this. We don't need any of that, so don't let that confuse you. Um, you can forget about all of this as well. It's just this kind of bit here we may have to focus on. Um, you may not, it may look fine straight away, um, but we shall see. Cool, so now it's stabilizing. It takes a couple of seconds and that's done. So now when we play it back, you'll see a difference. It looks a hell of a lot smoother. Um, now, the reason why this did such a good job at making it kind of smooth, especially this bit here, um, is because mainly the background is black um, and there's very minimal colors in this clip. It's, it's kind of a red and a black, that's kind of it, apart from a few whites here. Now, if it was a multicolored background um, and there was a lot going on around the edges, then it wouldn't really look that good. But because the center subject, well, the almost center subject is wearing full black, um, you can only really see his arm, there's nothing that really interrupts the warping. Um, because essentially it has to judge what's happening in the clip and sometimes it's not very good at doing so, sometimes it is. Um, but we can see a difference here. Now what you'd want to use this smoothness for, sometimes it will really smoothen it and you'll see kind of a slight warping or a jelly effect. Uh, that's because it's basically just, it's it's really trying to stabilise it and it's and it's warping and it does that in the process. Which you can tone, tone down by just you know pressing it down to 10%, it will even go down to 1% if need be, I've used that before. Um, or again, vice versa, you can put it onto 100% um, if it's still not as smooth as you'd like, which looks like this. Even smoother. Um, I've got one more example here just to show you. And again, this one. So this one I kind of pan across to the, the left deck and then focus into the other one. This is all done handheld. Um, if you kind of, if this works straight away and it, and it looks really, really good, what you can do is you can just click on the warp stabilizer um, icon Command C or Control C on Mac. Uh, click the clip that you want to stabilize again and con uh, Command V or Control V for Windows. Um, and click Analyze again. Give it a few seconds, depending on how fast your computer is. Um, and it will stabilize. Cool, now it's stabilized, we can see again the, um, the difference it makes. It really does make your clips look incredible. I do wedding videography as well, and I use that for a lot of my wedding shoots because I'm constantly running around um, filming different things. I have got a Glycam, but taking it off the Glycam and trying to 
get kind of close-up shots and stuff with the glide cam it really is inconvenient so um i sometimes take it off the glide cam to get shots like that and if the the whole scene isn't full of color uh, as another example here which is some champagne glasses overall there isn't a lot of things going on in the scene a lot of the objects are in the center there's nothing really affecting the edges you can get some really really great shots um i really hope this helped any questions please do leave comments and i'll try my best to get to, to get back to you if you like any more tutorials again leave a comment and i'll try and make some for you as well i really hope this helped